had your hair, Ethan. Have you uh, spoken to anyone else about what happened? That's my partner. Do you find it helpful to talk to him? Her. She's been really supportive. Good. What about your wife? Have you talked to your wife about it? I wish I could, but some things are classified and... So the person who is supposedly closest to you doesn't know what you're going through. Ethan, if someone is to blame for the Easter bombings, it's whoever signed those release papers, not you. You had no choice. You were following orders. I was watching the guy. I knew he was dirty, and I let him go. That's on me. Have you been experiencing any more hallucinations? No. I mean, I've had a few nightmares here and there, but nothing like what I was experiencing before. Really? I mean, what do you mean by hallucinations? People are objects that aren't really there. Objects that aren't really there. Mr. Burke, I can get you something stronger for the pain. Huh? Fine. Anything I can do to make you more comfortable, just name it. Thank you. Dr. Carroll will be in to see you shortly. You mind if I check your blood pressure? Uh, please. I know you had a concussion and a few cracked ribs. Could have been much worse. Here, it was a nasty car accident. Does your wife know that one of the missing agents you're looking for is Kate Houston? Why open up old wounds? Anyway, it's classified. Well, it seems kind of strange that Hassler would choose you for this one. What happened between Kate and I, it's over, okay? But she was my partner. And that means something. You expect me to believe that if you see... <laughs> A plus for you. I'm Nurse Pam, by the way, and you are? I'm Ethan Burke. Correct. It's good to see your memories coming back. You were delirious when you came in. Couldn't remember who you were. And what about Agent Stallings? Who? Stallings. The other guy that was in the car with me. I'm afraid he didn't make it. Oh. So you're a close friend of yours. <sighs> I need to call my wife. No, I believe the sheriff's department got in touch with your emergency contacts after the accident. Where's my phone and the rest of my things? Oh, we don't have anything of yours, but I can certainly put on my Nancy Drew detective hat and check into that for you. I bet the sheriff's office has everything. See this little black button? I'm just one click away. <laughs> I want whatever's left of the car transferred here. We're taking over the investigation. I can't believe they waited a day and a half to call us. The body was so badly burned, it took him two whole days to figure out who Stallings was. All right, but why was he the only one in the car? He's with Ethan Burke. Well, maybe he wasn't with Ethan Burke. 
Yeah, but Ethan checked in by email at 1.21 p.m. from Loman, Idaho, where they stopped gas. Anything could have happened between Loman and the ball of fire by the side of the road Just 20 miles later, okay? Including the possibility that Ethan Burke's body was so badly burned that there was nothing left of it. I'll call their families. I'll call their families. Hey, sweetie. It's me. We're hanging out at the water today. I'm just thinking about you. Uh, your phone keeps going straight to voicemail. I hope everything's okay. I'm probably being paranoid, I know. But uh, call us when you can, okay? I love you. Bye. Fish tacos. Yes. You know what kind of fish you can find in a hospital? No. What? A sturgeon. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Yeah. Who's on the phone? You are so nosy. Was it Dad? No, I was leaving him a message. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Mom, I can tell when you're lying. Everyone has to tell. Whoa. You sound like your dad. <laughs> Everybody has a tell? What's my tell? You pause and look to the right. Hmm. Well... You don't need to know everything all the time, Ben. You want to take a picture? For your dad? <sighs> Hello? Teresa, it's Adam Hassler. Adam, hi. Is everything okay? I haven't Teresa, heard. there's been an accident. Where's the doctor? It's been hours. Dr. Carroll was tied up all day in one of those emergency surgeries, some eight-hour nightmare. But I gave him your vitals, and he says you're doing A-OK. -okay. What kind of hospital is this, anyway? Where is everybody? They're busy. All right, well, what, what about my things? I'm working on it, Captain. And I had a briefcase. I'm working on it, Captain. Well, why don't you work on getting me a phone? Any phone. I wish I could, but we don't have phone jacks in the patient rooms. I mean, who wants all that ringing and chattering while patients are trying to heal and sleep, right? Right. I'll be back in an hour with your dinner. Green beans and gravy. What on earth are you doing? I'm leaving. Mr. Burke, I can't let you leave. You're in no condition to be leaving. Well, I appreciate your concern. Mr. Burke, you're not thinking clearly. Move your foot. Move your foot. I'm worried about you. Adam Hassler. Your dad may have been in a car accident. Wait, is, is he okay? Mom. There's nothing to worry about yet. Okay? He wasn't at the scene of the accident, yeah. and I bet he went to go look for help, and that they're gonna find him soon, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Look at me, I'm not worried. I know he's okay. Shouldn't you be at the hospital? I was already over there. <clears throat> I need a phone. Sure, no problem. Thanks. There you go. 
Well, can I get you something to eat? The kitchen's gonna be closing soon. Yeah, I'd love a cheeseburger. But I lost my wallet in the accident. I was over at the sheriff's office. They told me that's where my things are. But it's closed. How do you want your burger? Bloody no onions. You got it. Thanks. I gotta tell you, you're the first normal person that I've met in this town. And uh, when I get my wallet, I'll come back. And give me a really big tip, right? Right. So what brings you to Wayward Pines, anyway? Business. What kind of business? I'm in the Secret Service. Secret Service? What, is the president here? You know, don't you Secret Service guys protect the president? We handle other things as well. Well, you can let me handle your dinner. Well, I appreciate it. Hey, what's your name? Beverly. Beverly Ethan. Teresa, it's me. Uh, look, they probably already told you that I was in an accident. I'm okay for some reason, and they've been unable to locate my, my phone and my wallet. I'm in uh, Wayward Pines, Idaho. Try calling me at the Wayward Pines Hotel. Love you. Bye. And that was fast. You wanted it bloody. So what exactly are you doing here, Mr. Secret Agent Man? Maybe I can help. A missing persons investigation. Who went missing? A couple of our own. Missing here? You seen any new faces around town over the last month? None, really. Except for yours. What about Kate Houston and Bill Evans? You ever heard of them? I'm not ringing any bells. Why, did something bad happen to them? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I hope you find what you're looking for. Here's the damage. What's this? You don't have a phone, you have no ID, no money, you don't know a soul in town. That's where I live. If you find yourself in any trouble, you can look me up. So you believe me, huh? I always believed you. Hi. Check out that 11. I'm sorry. I must have uh, overslept. Sorry. What happened to I'll pay first thing? The phone's working yet. Why wouldn't the phones be working? I don't know. I couldn't get a dial tone last night. I've been expecting some calls. Oh, no one's called for you. Are you sure? I kind of find that hard to believe. Oh, I'm sure. I'm the only one who's been working the front desk since you got in. Who were you expecting to hear from? Well, that would be none of your business. Okay. Maybe they don't want to talk to you. Have you found your wallet? No. Do you have any aspirin? No. I'm going to have to ask you to evacuate the room. You're going to have to ask me to what? Evacuate. Right now. Huh. I'll be just a moment. Wait. Uh I'm going to uh, get ready to evacuate.
Beverly? Special Agent Ethan Burke. I'm here to see the sheriff. Hi, Ernie. There's a man here to see you who says he's a secret agent or something. Special agent. I don't know. He's very disheveled. Okay. Okay. You can go on back. He's the last office on the right. Ethan Burke. Secret Service. Arno Pope. Sheriff. Rough little accident you had a couple days back. How you feeling? Better. Better than the guy whose corpse I just found decomposing in a house six blocks from here. Elaborate on I just found. Last night, a bartender gave me an address. She didn't give me a phone number because I don't have my phone. Evidently, you have it here. Why would I have your phone? Well, I was told that you have my things. Who told you that? That nurse over at the hospital. I got no clue where she got that idea from. Rum raisin. Mm. You like rum raisin? I need to make some calls. Uh, I bought that phone. Of course. Just as soon as you finish this story about the decomposing body. Well, I followed the address that the bartender gave me. And that's where I found Agent Evans. Tortured. Mutilated. Clearly, he'd been there for quite some time. Agent Evans. Bottom line is I was sent here to find two of our agents, and now I'm only looking for one. What's the name of the other missing agent? Her name is Kate Houston. What does she look like? 27 years of age. Red hair, hazel eyes, beautiful. By anyone's standards. We'll put the word out. And uh, if you don't mind now, I'd like to make those calls. Of course. But what was that address of the dead agent? 604 First Avenue. Hmm. I'll walk you over there. Not necessary. No, no, I, I want to. I don't want you to. Mr. Hassler, thank you for coming. Hi. So, when can we get the download from the GPS module? We can't find the GPS module. What do you mean? That's not all we can't find. There's no evidence that Ethan Burke was even in the car. Hey, uh, it's me. Um, I'm still in this town. Um, Teresa Ban, if you're getting these messages, call me here at the Wayward Pine Sheriff's Office in Idaho. I hope you're getting my messages. Secret Service. Yeah, hi, this is Ethan Burke. I need to speak with Adam Hassler. He's out of the office right now. Is there something I can do for you, sir? Yeah, I'll just call his cell phone. Could you give me that number, please? 
I'm afraid I'm not allowed to give out that information. Who am I speaking with? Marcy. Right, you knew. This is my third day. Great, well listen up, Marcy. I'm in Wayward Pines, Idaho, and I've got a dead agent on my hands. So get Hassler on the phone immediately. And, and I tell you the truth, I don't care if he's in a meeting. I don't care if he's sitting on the toilet. Get him on the phone. I'm sorry, I can't continue this conversation with you speaking to me like that. Tell him to call Ethan Burke at the Wayward Pines Sheriff's Office, and he has to do it as soon as he gets this message. Do you understand me? I'll give him the message. Very good, thank you very much. Attending here last night. You were here last night? That's correct. And there was a girl tending bar? There's only two people that work here. There's a guy named Steve and me. No, no, no. She waited on me here. I sat here and I ate a burger. Don't take this the wrong way, buddy, but how much did you have to drink? I know I was here and I know who, I know who served me. Well, maybe it was a different place. Okay. Huh? All right. She was here. Okay. Why are you doing this? Okay, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to do this, but I gotta. She's leave. leave. What I want to do is hey. All I want to hey. do is get okay. out of okay. this rotten, okay. insane get town. Your hands off of me, sir. Don't tell me that she wasn't here. Get off of me, Beverly. Beverly. Ten, sixteen, twenty-eight is not doing well. Happy birthday, sweetie. I know what you're gonna wish for. Yeah, what's that? A guitar. <laughs> no, I think I'm just gonna wish that you guys don't end up like everybody else's parents. No matter how much your mother can't stand me, she's stuck with me. Yeah, we're stuck with each other. Nice. I gotta take this call. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I'm just it's my kid's birthday. I'll call you back. I'll give you info then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go out of town for a few days. Everything okay? Yep. There he is. Who are you? My name is Dr. Jenkins. Do you know where you are? No, you want to take off these handcuffs, please? If I told you you were in a hospital in Wayward Pines, Idaho, would that sound familiar? Yes. You still have the headache? No, I don't have a headache. Ethan, you have a history of mental illness. What kind of doctor are you? Psychiatrist. Your MRI shows there's bleeding on your brain. You think that's why you're having this dissociative breakdown in your memory, your awareness? I'm not delusional. I'm not having hallucinations. With great respect, though, you wouldn't know if you were having an hallucination. I mean, walking around with an epidural hematoma is very, very dangerous. I'm not having a dissociative breakdown. You see, it's not me. This town. It's just a town. You were in a terrible accident. We just want to get you better. That's why I'm getting you ready to go into surgery. We need to drain the blood. I don't consent to surgery. I want to be transported to a hospital in Boise. Yes. Yes, we thought of that. And when we spoke to the surgeons in Boise... I would like to speak to that surgeon. Everyone... I would like to speak to the surgeon in Boise. Nurse, please, would you come? I would like to speak to the surgeon in Boise. make you just a pinch more comfortable. 
Take these cuffs off me. Oh, Take them off. What's that? What is it? Look, I don't want it. Hold still, I don't Burke. want it. Hold still, Mr. Burke, or I'll jam this bad boy straight to the bone. That's the way. Ah! Ah! Someone gets on, we fight. Are you okay to run? That crazy nurse shot me with a sedative. I'll be out cold in like five minutes. Got it. Here. 
you work in that bar or not? Yes. They're trying to break your mind. What happened, Evans? They tried to escape. Why are you helping me? I was a software sales rep. I came to outfit the school with protection from Y2K. And when I walked up to the school, I was hit by a motorcycle. It came out of the blue, and they said I had a head injury and memory loss. What? October 21st, 1999. Actually, next week will be my anniversary. I'll have been in Wayward Pines for a whole year. What? You think it's... 2000? 2014. just doesn't make any sense. I mean, if Ethan is alive, then why hasn't anybody heard from him? And if he's dead, why hasn't anybody found him? Teresa, they didn't find anything. Okay. What do you mean? I mean, they didn't, I mean, they didn't find anything. There was no trace of Ethan's blood or his skin or his hair or a residual sweat, not even degraded DNA. So he wasn't in the car? Is he with her? Please, Adam, you are my friend, and I need you to tell me. Yes, I am your friend. I don't know where Ethan is. That is the truth. But you knew where he was going, right? Where, where you sent him. See, I cannot disclose any details. Look, I am doing everything that I can to find him. I promise you. Get back to it. waiting for you in the conference room. Just need a minute. What's going on? Talk to me. Jenny Hasbro. She's a 26-year-old medical student. Leonard Lomatoff. Stop it. Eleven children. Stop. I read about them in the paper. I memorize their names. 621 people. That's on me. Don't. You know, it never ends. But it will get better. You'll think about it every day. Maybe for the rest of your life. But little by little, you'll think of it less and other things more. Your life will return to you.
there. How can I help you? Is Kate here? Who are you? Um, a friend of hers. Hey, Kate. Mm -hmm. Someone at the door. Yes. Kate. Yeah. I came here to find you. You must be confusing me with someone else. I don't think that's possible. Do you? I'll be in in a moment. Okay. Yeah. What's happening? Sit down. older. I don't understand. You live here? Yes. For how long? Twelve years. That's impossible. You were with me five weeks ago. I don't have answers for you either. You should go. Kate, I'm in trouble. Right now. You have to go. Now you are putting my life at risk and Harold's. From who? You could be happy here, Ethan. You could have an amazing life here. Kate. Is it happening again? Am I having a relapse? Wanted to see me? If there's time, I want to call it off. Well, it's done, Adam. I've been taken care of. Th there's nothing for you to worry about.
messages. Too far, did you? How do I get out of here? You don't. 